to do just about anything in America. And he took it all for granted. Now, people don't want to know, but they're going to have to learn that Dave Chappelle took everything he had for granted. And now he don't have an audience to run to. He had the privilege of being loved and black at the same time. He thought he was invincible, like he can get away with doing whatever he wanted to do. He made it seem like black people didn't show time at the Apollo's ass. Like we didn't give him the stamp of approval as if he never needed us and don't need us. And now his ass is going through it. Oh my God, da da do. Hand me them papers over there. And next time, let me know that we live. Oh my God, da da do. Somebody please say it ain't so. Hand me, man, give me all of the papers. Because Dave Chappelle is canceled. And there ain't no coming back. Let's get into it, man. Bowen Yang couldn't get far enough away from Dave Chappelle during the SNL goodnight speculations on Twitter. He took a dump on his black audience when he went at Cat Williams. As if Cat is not a, a black comic that's really popping right now. He went up to SNL thinking he was going to get that traditional Dave Chappelle type of love and was met with very, very cold greetings, man. Everybody in the picture make believing that Dave is not even there. He's standing off on the side. Like he had to invite himself into the picture. They didn't say, hey, everybody, Dave Chappelle. He thought they was going to kiss his ass and bring him to the center of the stage and everybody parade around Dave. Like, oh, my God, it is him, the Mr. Chappelle. He thought they was going to kiggity kiss his ass and people couldn't wait to get as far away as possible. He don't lost his black audience. This Bowen Yang is Asian. He don't lost his Asian audience. I wonder how his wife feel about that. And to top it off, his Caucasian audience don't fell to the wayside. Dave Chappelle on some gangster shit. And a lot of people didn't know about this right here, man. Look at this. Does Dave Chappelle the fuck this nigga trying to throw the bussy? The hell is this? Get out of here. Does Dave Chappelle have a problem with affordable housing? He live in Yellow Springs, Ohio. And they was talking about bringing some housing projects to where he stay at. And Dave Chappelle lost his shit. They was going to bring poor people to his town and build the Dollar General. And he threatened to pull out all of his money, all of his resources. He was not. He went to the town hall meeting and told them people that if they built the affordable housing where he stay at. He was going to pull out and Oprah was going to have to buy the shit. Listen at this, man. Is on all right dave go ahead can you hear me i can you're echoing oh yeah oh, sorry about that. yeah sorry about that um i just want to say i'm uh, adamantly opposed to it obviously i live behind the development or the proposed development uh i do have many business interests in town i've invested millions of dollars in town if you push this thing through what i'm investing in is no longer applicable and I would say that Ober can come and buy all this property from me if they want to be your benefactor, because I will no longer want to. Can you hear me? Uh, you, you dropped for a minute there, Dave. He was going clean off on them people. How dare you? build some houses that niggas can afford in my neighborhood and I'm investing millions of dollars to keep it white Hey, y'all talk about bringing in some lower income housing around where I stay at he like I moved out in the middle of nowhere to get the fuck away from the ratchets 
and y'all gonna, as soon as I get settled, I find I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I can be away from the Negroes and y'all got the nerve to talk about a developing affordable housing, a Walmart and a family dollar, dollar tree, dollar general around my shit. It's like, if that's the case, I'm better off being poor. I might as well move back to the ghetto. Dave snapped at the town hall meeting. He did a Skype and they act like they didn't want to hear his ass. So he bought his ass down to the courthouse, man. And people wasn't even thinking about this until Cat bought it up. He should have never said nothing about Cat Williams. He had the town, he had the meeting. Mad as hell about them even thinking about developing public housing, man. The Scrooge with all the money came down and shut down whatever the fuck they was talking about, man. Yo, hold on. Reg, run that back. Y'all need to see this, man. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi, I'm Dave Spell. <laughs> I just want to say, and Mary Ann, I could talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the village council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they ix out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. Mr. Motherfucking Scrooge. With all of the money and the fame and the the accolades in town. He talked to this man via Skype, throwing his weight around. I'm Dave Chappelle. And this man told his ass he need to come down to the village. This man is the ambassador, the face of Yellow Springs. And Dave Chappelle. That old Grinch came down there and spat in the commissioner's face and said, how dare you try to bring affordable housing to where I stay, man. And the truth of the matter, if they would have bought affordable housing to Dave Chappelle's neck of the woods, they would have forced him out as a commoner in their society. They don't like the fact he walk around with them balls swinging and buying up shit and kissing babies and living his dream of being the only black guy in his whole scenario. They trying to put some seasoning. They trying to bring in more blacks to force Dave out and he can't take the hint. They knew if it was one thing they could do to get his ass out of town. If they threatened to bring in some old black folks. And hold on, what about my shine? Oh, it's some dude named Tyrone. He's friends with my friends. Oh no. Like, okay, somebody stop the presses. Like I'm the only black guy in this town. That's the way it is. And damn it, that's the way it's going to stay. Hold on y'all, look at this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave Spell. <laughs> I just want to say, and Mary Ann, I could talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the village council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they ate out a $65 million a year company. He just threw his money in that man's face. Like y'all talking about a development for 24 million, but what I'm offering to the town is 65 million, you dumbass. Like I make the rules. I am the law in this county. I am freaking Dave. You are no, y'all a bunch of nobodies compared to me. I'm fucking Dave Chappelle, asshole. He throwing his weight, he warm Buffy, he all that. He, he's ego tripping in Yellow Springs. Sound like 
somewhere R. Kelly need to live. Oh my goodness. Hold on, man. He looking like Dave. We're gonna get you either way, buddy. Like this guy doesn't know who he's fucking with. Like I guess he doesn't know I'm really a three-headed monster. Oh my goodness. He fuck. He must. They gone. Fuck him. Mosh pit his ass when he least expect it. All he gonna hear is yeehaw, pop, 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 pop. You think I don't know who I'm talking to? You really don't know who the fuck you're talking to. They gonna pass that bill. Dave gonna wake up. It's gonna be a nigga on his front lawn smoking weed, walking a pit bull dog. Hold on, look at this, man. Hi, I'm Big Spell. I just want to say, and Marianne, I can talk to you about this privately. This nigga talking to the white lady on the side. And Marianne, I can talk to you about this privately, just me and you. Have some coffee and smoke some cigs. I refuse to let those darkies come to my town. Not on my watch. That's not what I paid for. That's not a part of the bargain. I ain't trying to have them. There will be no baby diapers sold at Walmart. Not in my town. If you want to have kids. You need to get the fuck out of my town. He was going on and on about how his town is 50 and up. They despise young people. He ain't trying to wait behind no buses. He want that sleepy little town to be exactly what he wanted to be. He's a damn tyrant. A comedian at that. But ain't shit funny. And it ain't been funny for a long ass time since he got that bread. When he was broke, he had all the humor in the world. Now ain't shit funny. More money, more problems. And for him, black people is the problem. They need to make him the CEO of BT. He had the nerve to call out Cat Williams and say no shade for the white boys. When all he live around, he don't even. Dave. And they need to cancel his ass. And he went on SNL and they wasn't even rocking with him like that. The LBG community is disgusted. Black people disgusted. He, he rocking with Kanye West. This is a mess, man. Hold on, Reg, get that set up because they need to see this for what it is. Okay, that's perfect like that. Check this out, y'all. Owen Yang couldn't get far enough away from Dave Chappelle during SNL Goodnight. Speculations on Twitter, man. Look at this, man. They said Bowen standing as far away from Chappelle as possible. He and a... Dave Chappelle hurt this man's feelings. He made him feel weak. He's a LBGT Asian man. And he looks so hurt. Dave Chappelle is like a wolf. And he acting like a gazelle. He running away from the herd. What type of. And when people see stuff like this. They don't want Dave Chappelle at the party. They can't listen to Dave Chappelle while Roderick is over. They sense. This motherfucker is a villain. He demonized himself by trying to kiss their ass. And now they don't want. They bad dog, bad dog, Dave, bad dog. Get back, get back, get back, Dave, get back. That's how they doing him, man. All the shit, all this BS he had going on is hitting a fan. Hold on. Look at this. Play that. What's wrong with it? Hey, y'all get this bootleg stuff together, man. Why is it taking so long? 
Jeff, we could watch it on X. Better not be no porn shit. Ain't got no volume. Oh, there it go. Hold on, homie was in the cut talking to the other. Hold on, so them some. Oh, they in the cut talking while they they acting like they about to go over there and do something to Dave. Like, what the fuck is he doing here? I don't know. Did they invite him? Does he even know that he's blackballed? They they got it out for Dave. Before you know it, they gone. They gone shit on Dave Chappelle. They trying to work out the kinks to see how they gonna do it or what would be the best way to take him down. But he took himself down when he went at Cat Williams, y'all. It's over. His allies, his friends, his money, his all his shit is up in flames. In that little town, he might not be able to afford to live there. He probably gonna wish they went along with the affordable housing. See how he's sitting on the porch with his buddies and they just police officers and shit. He just a big guy in town. That's his dream. He got an auction like on a get out movie on his property. Ain't no telling what he doing out there. Listen. Um, I don't know why the village council be afraid of litigation from a twenty-four million dollar a year company while they ex out a sixty-five million dollar a year company. Oh my god, he's just throwing that he throwing that money. They talking about he had to beg Cat Williams for an apology. Because now he got to get back in good graces somewhere, man. And if it ain't with black folks, who is going to be? They done with Dave at this point. And y'all want to know the truth of the matter? A lot of Caucasian people never found Dave Chappelle funny. Especially not now. A lot of people, they don't enjoy those Netflix specials. They give it a try, but it's nothing profound that make them want to latch on to Dave. They like him better when he doing blackface material. His wave is they sick of him smoking them cigarettes, coming to their parties, acting all important, talking down to people, sip, drinking all they brandy. It's about time they pop that balloon. And he acting like his balloon would never get popped. Like he the modern day Bill Cosby or some shit. He trying to go out on a legendary status. An old comedian that drinks and smokes cigarettes in the bar. I'm a classic, a classical comedian. There'll never be another Dave Chappelle. He expecting them to give him cheers everywhere he go. Everybody knows your name, dun, 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 and they're so glad you came. That's what he want his life to be like, an episode of Cheers. And he the only black guy on the set. And when he is, well, the black people, they're extremely famous. And they're just basking in his shadow. I like going out with Chris Rock because it makes me look like a bigger man. And nobody ever slapped me. Oh my I love going out with Chris Rock because he's little, he's black, and he makes me look like a giant. Then he had the nerve to get buff and swole on niggas, man. Hey, hit that like button pretty please, because I see y'all over there watching. Hit that um, notification button as well. And while y'all doing that, I'm about to show y'all a little bit of love real quick. Ooh. Oh my Nisi Q is in the building. She said drinking brandy and swinging on the canopy. Doing corny shit. Azia Moore is in the building. Yolanda Coleman, how you feeling, baby? Philip Bowie. I see QS and Pitar Yeshua. K Wo 10, I'm Tivius Banks. What it do, bro? And everybody else watching the video. Sean Pimp and what it do, Pimp? I see you over there, boy. We got Tracy in the building. Hey, baby. Christina Smith, she said, I love you, Sean Blazing 10. 
<laughs> I love me too. Ooh. Oh, you know I love you, baby. We got Randy C in the building, Karsha Hines, and Boozy Bitch to go along with NCQ. Hey, let's get back into this real quick. Because Dave Chappelle is done, y'all. He been in the crock pot for a minute. And now the meat is falling off the bones. No homo. But he's finished. People don't want to. They not spending their money on him no more. He don't want black people in his neighborhood. Look at this man. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. What? Why would he talk to them people like that? Because they wanted him to come down there and plead his case towards the council. He's pissed about it. They treating him like he's a commoner. How dare you have me come down here and audition for you? You guys are clown. He called them clowns at they at they town council, man. Where is the respect? Just because he got money don't mean that the town don't have to have dignity. He want them to just take it. But then again, on the flip side, why the fuck they trying to build affordable housing? They trying to leave Dave in the ghetto while they branch out and move to other parts of town. They want to take that lower income housing so they could take that money to invest in properties away from Dave and leave him in the slums. Like, how dare you try to get away from me and put me and mines back in poverty, you bitch. We're just playing the cards that was dealt, Dave. We're tired of you slinging meat in our county. Dave out there dropping big wood in a county. Like, Marianne, I can talk to you privately after this is over. He made sure he snagged that piece of coochie before he went on with his speech, man. Like, I'm going to show my ass at Marianne. We can talk privately about this in my cabin. He came for the clout, for the coochie, for the money, for the development, for the progress. Somebody get him the fuck out of here, man. Oh my Hold on, run that back one more. This is the last time. Listen at this dude. <laughs> They threw their hands in the air for Chappelle. Hold on. They're like, hey, raise the roof, raise the. He got the. He came through like Big Daddy Kane. Got them raising the roof for him. Like, oh shit, Dave Chappelle, whoop, whoop. They do that shit so they won't get taxed. Like, oh, uh, you've been hit with a Chappelle tax. You didn't kiss his ass when he came through. You know, every time you see Chappelle, you should like wave your hands or do something because this guy got connections. Like you didn't raise your hand when you seen me. Don't you know that I'm Dave Chappelle? It's a nightmare living in town with this motherfucker. You trying to get the hook up on some cigarettes? You trying to get them shits fresh off the truck. Here goes Chappelle. He on the motorcycle like the ghost rider. Like, uh, uh, uh. I'm the law around here. You got to give two cartons to Dave. You come back home with two Lucy's. What happened? I ran into fucking Dave Chappelle. He said if I didn't cough up the cigs, he was going to call the mayor. Like, I got a hundred packs of new smokes. Messing with them broke ass people. They can't even afford to live there no more. And his ass don't even want them to develop affordable income houses. Like, if you can't afford it, get the fuck out of town. Like, I raised the prices around here for a reason. Don't want any dusties in my vicinities. Whew, this man is cold blooded, man. And people have been talking about this shit for years. 
why was Dave Chappelle at a village council meeting in Ohio to cuss them people the fuck out and tell them he don't want no black people living there? That's why he was there, man. Listen at this. All right, whoa, whoa, Dave Chappelle. Hold on. They got, these chicks got on the Chappelle logo mask. Y'all see that shit? She got the Chappelle shit and she got the Chappelle shit. And he made sure that they did not sit next to this man. Man, he on some other shit. Whoa, whoa. He straight hit they mic with his hat. Who does shit like that? No. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Dave Spell. I just want to say, and Mary and I can talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the village council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they eats out. A $65 million a year company. He unbuttoned his jacket on that man. Like he about to do something. He started loosening up his buttons. Benjamin buttons, man. What's going on with Dave Chappelle? He done nutted up on Cat Williams. Sounding like a bigot, a racist idiot. He don't win against the trans community. He just on some other shit. And walked up in the town hall meeting tripping because they want to bring more black people to town. What if they thought it over like, you know what? Black people aren't all that bad. We love Dave. Only if we can have a, like some more Dave Chappelle's in town. That would be amazing if like all the Dave Chappelle's came to our town. We got to make it affordable, you know, blacking it up. You know, I, I have a black friend. His name is Dave. What if they decided that they wanted to welcome lower income people with open arms? Like if we can love Dave, we can love anybody. I say we just kumbaya this shit and make affordable housing for all in Yellow Springs. But we're gonna have another Dave, I swear. It's gonna be a superstar. And Dave shut that shit down. Listen at this. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. What a freaking snob. He said, I am not pump faking. I will take it all off the table. Y'all want to build this affordable housing bullshit? and I don't invested all my money. The comedian helped squash a plan for affordable housing in Yellow Springs, Ohio this week by threatening to pull a multi-million dollar investment. People had dreams of moving to Yellow Springs. Dave Chappelle is there. It's beautiful houses, beautiful water, beautiful scenery. It's just out in the wild. There's no, there's no blacks. Oh except for Dave and he's cool. Let's go. They in a the trailer on their way to Yellow Springs with that Chappelle show 
playing in the background until they got there and the, the very man they was dying to be around shut they shit down man dave chappelle has had an outstanding influence on yellow springs ohio in recent years attracting a-list celebrities to outdoor comedy shows and parties he organized in the village this sound like some american horror story shit is he a cult leader out that bitch? Oh it sounds like Dave Chappelle running a cult within his very own village. What type of freaky deaky dark twisted Kanye fantasy is this man? He bringing out A-list celebrities to outdoor comedy shows in the middle of the village. Can you imagine? They out there with the lilies and shit is picking white fences. They just doing it up with Dave. He's the champ of the town. He's a jolly good fellow. They carry his ass through the streets. Like I own this fucking town. You realize that, right? I'm Dave Chappelle. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. He buying all the beers and shit. Come on, have another drink while I caress your daughter. Oh my they sick of it. Like, why this motherfucker? Woo, they hate his ass. <laughs> they can't wait. They, they know the only way to drive that nigga out of town is to bring some old black people to town, man. And he is not going for none of that. He's not trying to play the flute, the banjo, the guitar, the harp. He ain't trying to play none of that shit. Look, man, they said he the, he the toast of the town, which is home to some 3,700 people, man. But this week, he exchanged glitz and glamour for staid procedures of a village council meeting. He went down there. It was stanking there. And he was mad when he showed up. Got me doing regular people shit. I'm Dave Chappelle. May it come down to this rinky dink town hall meeting. There's no coffee, no donuts. What is this shit? Look at this man. Mr. Chappelle attended the three hour virtual meeting on Monday to oppose a new housing development that had been set to include affordable housing. His appearance at the meeting has raised questions about why one of the most famous comedians in the world is involved with a small town zoning battle. A small town zoning battle. He ain't trying to see nobody eat. If you can't afford it, then get the hell. I, but do you blame him? Oh you know what happens when that Walmart go up. And um, yeah, the McDonald's, they start bringing in the fast food and it's just. Hey, man, it's just like it attract the roaches. A lot of people, when they see them dollar generals and shit going up in their neighborhood, they get the hell out. They're like, oh, no, because you know what they selling in there. Pregnancy test, drug test, look at uh, birth control, <laughs> tampons, condoms, Dorito chips for the kids, all the shit the kids want. People with multiple kids, they go up in there, they be straight. Twizzlers, Snickers, look at uh, cookies. They got all the juices. Sunny Delight, Kool Aid, Capri Suns. This they got it on deck, man. You could even get an outfit for your baby. They got socks. They go. Oh God, it's a survival store with rations. You can get all your rations. So you can run back to your hole and snack. 
and howl like a damn zombie, man. As soon as your snacks are gone, that's when you start howling at the moon. Ooh! And Dave don't want to hear that shit. Like, why is everybody in town howling? Oh shit, they bought the Doritos to town. See the rappers floating down the street. Is that a sugar baby rapper on my lawn? Oh shit. There goes the neighborhood. Well, that's how Dave Chappelle feel about it, man. But hey, it is what it is. Look at this. He went down to the, he did the virtual meeting. He did, he went down there. He ain't playing about this shit. The village council held the meeting to allow residents to comment on an update to an existing plan for a housing development before the council voted on the changes. So it, it wasn't even nipped in the bud. They just wanted to talk about it. And Dave showed his ass. It's not in development. He don't even like the sound of it. And he went down there. And I'm pretty sure him and his buddies were sitting on the porch. And Dave was the most passionate one about stopping this project. It was him and his, his guys hanging out, having a beer, and talking politics in the neighborhood. And Dave went down there and showed his ass. Like I'm the one with all the money. Damn. The revised plan will have included duplexes, townhouses, and 1.75 acres of land reserved for affordable housing and a development. It was going to be the projects that was originally going to include only 143 single family homes, according to a memo from Brian Walsh, the village council president. Damn, man. It was going to bring the hood to his little Hollywood. He would have, if they would have built that shit up, Dave Chappelle would have, he told them he was going to pack all his stuff up and take his money and get the hell on, man. Hold up. All right. So, I will take it all off the table. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to formally open the public hearing, and um, I want to do a little bit of fact checking. Um, and then we're going to have uh, Denise, Brianne, a few other people uh, uh, present, and then council's going to make a decision. Oh, man. They, they, you know, Nobody cared about this type of shit before Cat Williams. And there's a lot of stuff going on out here that people never cared about. This stuff is old. It was this happened last year when Dave Chappelle pulled these stunts. Yo, he all over the place with this shit. The average age in the village is 49 years old. Without a school, you will not attract young families. And this city will not live beyond the retirees that decide to settle here. And I'm surprised that Marianne McQueen is is suddenly uh, not averse to change because you always are when I uh, 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 propose a change. And now all of a sudden we have to recognize the change. These changes are inevitable, but we do have a decision on what they will or could be. And I think we he know he on some devil shit. Look at his background. He got the red neon lights blaring. He know he on some wicked tree. He want the town to remain old. He said they ain't got no school. So that's not going to attract no young couples. So when he go to the store, he ain't got to see nobody that he don't want to see. They don't. He got that shit carved out to where if you black and you get caught out there and you not Dave Chappelle, you going to have a hell of a night. They might bring your ass to Chappelle so he could beat your ass. They pick you up in a pickup truck. 
tie your ass up real good. You don't know where the hell they taking you. You screaming. You begging for your mama. They throw your ass out in front of Dave Chappelle. Like, what the fuck are you doing in my village? Oh shit, Dave Chappelle. Get the fuck out of here. He gonna give you a hundred lashes and send you on your way, man. Look at this. We should use more of a visionary eye, uh, eye instead of a reactionary one. Because the potential of this place is immense and over is not the only solution. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dave. I like yield the rest of my time to Max Crum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all going to yield uh, all I'm our totally time joking, to Max totally Crum for... Uh... <laughs> I know. But for real, over if um, you want to try this stuff, come get it. All right. <laughs> uh, he, he said that if the only way they will recruit from the money that they will lose if he pull out of the deal is if Oprah come and buy the shit. Like there's only one other black person that got a, as much money as me that would even be interested in this piece of shit town. Wow. Uh, that's how they play it. That's how they do it. I wonder if Morgan Freeman is related to Dave Chappelle, because if they are, it's, it'll make a lot of sense, man. And don't hey, people still love Dave, but I don't know if Dave loved the people, man. Um, hey, so that's some cold shit. What y'all got? I'm looking to see what y'all got to say about it. Somebody let me know something because this guy, he need to beg Cat Williams for an apology and he need to just, he went off on Cat. Look at this. A little part of the game is this. He only eats the niggas. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. So why are you drawing all ugly pictures of us? Stop. And Cat and Cat and hurt people hurt people. But I'm a hurt person that never hurt people. And he does it. All the time. Fuck this one and fuck. <sighs> the hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. The hypocrisy. That's a better way of saying it. The hypocrisy. They don't caught on to it. They associate with Dave. They associate Dave Chappelle with being ratchet. He's speaking on it. He trying to, he, he got his hands all in the mess. He messy. He touching on a whole bunch of shit that anybody normally wouldn't touch on. You got to be a messy motherfucker to go at the LBG, especially in these times in this era. And all them people on stage, they all the way with it. And he ain't with it and they ain't with him. He went up to, to the SNL and got treated like an outcast. You would have thought he was on the, the janitorial staff the way they was treating him when he went up there. And it was supposed to be a surprise a pop up. They didn't even invite him to come. He popped up thinking they was going to kiss his ass. And they basically treated him like he was nothing. He was standing up there looking like a fool, man. And I honestly believe if he would have never went at Cat Williams, if he would have never mentioned that man's name, if he would have just kept it a G and didn't say nothing, he wouldn't be going through all these failures right now because they think their core community don't matter until they break the relationship with the core community and that's when they find out. <clears throat> he thought he was invincible. Who needs black people when I can just go up to SNL? They'll welcome me with open arms. 
No, the fuck they won't. This is a house divided. He stand. It's like they pushing him off. They energy is he not even he can't even mix. They not even mingling. This shit is just dead in the water. Ain't no hug. Usually they have their arms around each other talking. They be they look uncomfortable. And notice how they got their hands like they pledging like they shit. Look, look at look how they stand. This is how you know they in disagreements. <clears throat> oh my god, zoom in on that. They standing, they good. They letting the people know, like, we are in this circle together. And he in the cut with his arms crossed. I mean, with his fingers crossed. Like, I'm standing my ground and I am not breaking my oath. Like, I won't break neither. I definitely won't break for Chappelle. He getting his hands ready so he could put it in a deep lock. Like, I stand with you guys. Chappelle got his hands behind his back. Like he afraid to show his hand. Like I said some funny shit going on. If I throw up a sign, they might try to get me. They standing on their squares and Chappelle is on the defense. <clears throat> he know that is some funny shit going on. Because if everything was all peace and everything was all good, he would be standing amongst them doing the same shit with his hands. Man, it's some shit down the pipeline. And it's not smelling good. <clears throat> Dave, once you wash up like that, it's going to be bad, man. And this is all in the news. That's all they talking about. And they concerned about Bowen Yang. Cause they know Dave Chappelle said a lot of mean shit about the LBGT community. Homie next to this man, he making it his business to have his shoulder and his back turned towards Chappelle. He trying to get in where he fit in and they not letting him snap nowhere. They in the back, they just, bro. Man, it is a cold situation. Saturday Night Live cast member Boeing Gang didn't seem too thrilled when Dave Chappelle for reasons unknown to the audience and apparently some of the SNL cast jumped on stage during the cast's good night segment at the end of Saturday's show. He, <laughs> he, yo, he's desperate. They been, sh oh, he, this, he been blackballed. And he just now starting to realize what the fuck is going on. You show up to an SNL show. They don't ask you to be included in nothing. They don't, they're like, so what? Dave Chappelle is here, everybody. They like, why? Why is he even here? Yo, matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna do this real quick. Y'all stay tuned. Cause somebody, this man said it for what it is and I'm gonna play what he said so y'all can understand. Hold on. Y'all stay tuned. This guy, he basically said it for what it is. I got to get the perfect segment. Okay, listen at this. My nigga Dave Chappelle be bombing like a motherfucker. I'm just keeping it real, dog. <laughs> I have watched, whenever they say, hey, everybody, guess what? Special guest, Dave Chappelle. I'll be like, oh, damn. <laughs> it's going to be hot garbage for at least an hour hour maybe two i'm just keeping it real i'm not trying to shit on the brother but he needs to understand you throwing your weight around too much man standing up there smoking with them irregular shirts on bombing 
all the time. Damn. He kept it a stack. Dave Chappelle would get on that mic and s s talk about nothing for three hours straight. And people would listen out of respect for the fact that he Dave Chappelle. He show up throwing his weight around at the at a war show. He come and throw his weight around at a city council meeting. He would come to a comedy show and get up there and stay up there all night. Other comments don't even get a chance to do. They said. And he ain't talking about shit. Man, this guy, they about to knock him off his high horse. They did not. They knew if he would have got on that mic, that show would have been five hours long. They sick of it. They don't, they don't. He about to get his wake up call. They, they, man, look, who going to take him? Who gonna take Dave? Will the black community really take him and embrace him and put him on Cat Williams status? I don't think so. What can we do with Chappelle when he don't even want black people in his neighborhood? The Asian community, I don't know if they, this Bo Yang, they concerned about this guy. Matter of fact, Let's do a little bit of investigations and I promise it's not going to get zesty. So, hey, y'all just sit back. I'm going to take care of all of the driving. We about to go there. Because uh, they making a big deal out of this guy. I don't know who he is. I don't. He all on his Dave Chappelle shit. I'm afraid to go to his IG because it might be some weird stuff on. It. But who knows? Let's go to his IG. This is Bowen Yang. He's an Asian brother, though. So. Oh, okay. He's a part of, I'm assuming he's a part of the LBG community. Yep, yep, no doubt. He definitely. Why it look like he got some candy corn in his pocket somewhere? This is crazy, man. Um, uh, hey, man, yeah, Bowen Yang. He seemed like he's a. They love Bowen. They love this guy. They they all on the boat wagon, man. He's a superstar. He take care of his kids and shit. He got love for his fam. That's what's up. Why would Dave go at this guy? Bowen Yang is God. Hold on, is them booty shorts? What the fuck is going? What? 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 What the fuck? The nigga holding aliens with booty shit. Get this shit out of here. Okay, enough of this dude's IG. He was raised in a trailer home that has some nonsense teeth well into adulthood, but he made it work. Some said some nonsense. Wait a minute, man. He said his daddy had nonsense teeth. Like this is. <laughs> like his teeth was some nonsense, man. That shit. <laughs> Said his daddy teeth ain't make no damn sense. God damn. Working on the side of the trailer. Oh, fuck it. He trying to get the sewage working in that damn trailer with the no the nonsense teeth. Dad had some nonsense teeth well into adulthood, but he made it work. Damn. I don't know if that's good or bad. Man, get that. Get off of his IG, man. 
But that's the dude that was real uncomfortable with Dave Chappelle being in the building. And you know damn well, they they not about to have Bowen feeling uncomfortable because Dave's cigarette smoking ass popped up uninvited. Now he's standing on the stage. Do Dave, he acting like a dog that wants some love and nobody want to pet his ass because he's canceled again. Like, who the fuck are you? Justin Timberlake, he walk up to Dave and look him dead in his eyes. Like, dude, who the fuck are you for real? You're not fucking Dave Chappelle. You're not Dave. What did they do to you? Like whoever or whatever that is, I have no words for him. That's not the Dave that I remember. The conspiracies must be true. It's either he's a clone because what man, especially Dave would say those things. I, I don't believe it. I, Mom, I don't believe it. It's a wrap. He should have never, never came out his mouth and said nothing about the great cat. Oh now he messed up. Cat Williams messed up a bunch of times, but he got nine lives. So he bounced back. And he got five more of them bitches left. You, Dave, it's over, bro. You're going to have to sell all of that corn, all of that hay, all of that shit. You're going to have to sell your whole barn, Bentley, everything that started with a B, including your black ass. Oh it's a wrap, Dave. You pissed off the wrong people. You don't go at cat. Now, he's the people's champ, and you the people's lame, man. You're going to have to make a rap album, do a mixtape, do some shit. Better call up Popeyes and work on the new sandwich, and you better be the spokesman, and all of that. Chappelle got a badass sandwich down there at Popeyes, man. It got chicken, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. Like, this sandwich big as fuck. Like, shout out to Dave Chappelle. Oh he better come out with the biggest sandwich. With peppers and onions. Like, come on down, get the Chappelle. The Chappelle. It'd be a big ass chicken sandwich with bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. And Dave's sweet potato fries. And the Chappelle biscuit. You need to open up that biscuit and put the sweet potato fries in it and put some honey on it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh my the Dave Chappelle lemon iced tea. That's the only way he going to have to figure it out, man, because if he going to come back home, he need to come back. Correct. Dave Chappelle dumps his wife for just hilarious. Oh and he doing photos with with his hand squeezing on just hilarious his butt. That's the only way he could make a comeback. He got a trick off and buy her a Bentley and put it on IG. Gone. Yo, switch that up. Something ain't right, but something telling me to look this stuff up, man. Cause this dude Dave is all over the place. Ain't no telling who he got ties with or what was his situation, his scenario. He look weird, buff. <clears throat> they saying he a clone cause his body was never nowhere even close to even having that type of structure. A little head, big ass arms, medium neck. It's weird. They said too short took over for Dave Chappelle after they got rid of Dave. Cause you ain't heard nothing from too short since this new Dave been out in the public. So he might be a pimp bitch, but we just don't know. He got the nerve to have the red, black, and green on his logo. 
but the C stand for Caucasian. Red, black, and green on the look. Dave. And he got white ladies out here with his t-shirt on. Somebody need to just flush the toilet. Guy got my money. I paid my dues. I'm Dave Chappelle. Who gives a shit? Either he married just hilarious or call it a quits. He wouldn't even damn. He'll probably wind up beating her ass. On some horror movie shit. He flip out and flip her ass over the balcony. She do not expect that shit. Like, what did I do? You need a hood rat chick, a project chick, a one that says you to, and then she took that stick. And he a fruity booty as well. He wore a lot of makeup during that Chappelle show. And people thought he was a gangster because he had weed smoking lips. If it wasn't for them black ass lips, he would have never had a black audience, man. It was them crusty ass lips that made people even interested in watching. That's back when he was smoking them Swisher sweets. Now he bougie. He only hit the bong. Dave Chappelle was that nigga when he was rolling up. What the fuck? Game. Where the hell that come from? That was weird. Yo, the whole basketball court is pink. He enjoyed every last minute of that. He might as well have put on the dress. He enjoyed every last minute of that shit. This the, this the Dave Chappelle we remember. That's still re that These is two different people. That's Dave Chappelle, man. I can feel it, the spirit through the picture. That's him. We ain't got, he ain't there no more. I promise you, he's gone. I can feel it, man. This is the real Dave. That's him. This is the real Dave Chappelle. But the te his teeth don't buck like that no more or nothing. His head, his, he ain't got the same head. He got, he, who the fuck? That's the real, that's the dude with the humor. The the funny one. That's the one that we would do. That's him. Who the fuck is this man? No, switch it up. Who is this? That ain't even Dave Chappelle. It's an imposter. They paid some brother that looked like Dave Chappelle to be Dave Chappelle on some Tupac, the realest shit. Remember people thought that Tupac was making all of them albums. They're like, how the fuck Tupac got 20 albums and he was only 25 when he died. They tried to convince the public that Tupac just stayed in the studio. He didn't take a break. He just pumped out me don't nobody pump out that much damn music after tupac died <clears throat> they had like 30 tupac albums come to find out it was some dude that sound like tupac had the same cadences and all that shit it, this dude sounded just like pop and he was banging them albums out they talking about it was Tupac. Come to find out. They do shit like that. Hold on. I'm looking for the realist.
Where the motherfucker? They trying to erase this from the um, history books. Honor with street name. The real why they ain't got the realest on here. Okay, let me do this. They playing games with me. Y'all know I'm, what I'm talking about is the truth. I ain't got to try to pull it up. Hold on, I'm doing one more time. Tupac. And I'm trying to get it right for y'all. Oh, there it go. There it go. Look at this, y'all. Look, 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 look. Pull it up. Javon Jones, an American rapper simply known by his stage name, The Realist. Where the shit about? Look, Death Row Records. There it go. Jones began his associating with Death Row Re Records in March 96 when he auditioned for Tupac Shakur in Las Vegas. And he auditioned in Vegas the same night when Tupac died. The fo following Shakur's death in September 96, Shook Knight offered Jones a contract with the label. He made his music debut on the gang related soundtrack, appearing in two songs with rapper Flex and whatever, whatever. Shook uh, presented 2020 to really sustain relatively serious injuries to the foot, blah, blah, in the drive by shooting or whatever that. To make a long story short, this is the dude that was rapping like Tupac and making all them damn records. Everybody that was getting Tupac features and all that after he died, the realist was the one giving them that work. But that's Negro here nor there, man. And all I'm trying to say is that this new Dave Chappelle. He looked like he's he got a lot of similarities. He got a lot of cadences, but he got his own shit going on. He don't tweak his set to his own set. I I don't know where they found this dude. But it seemed like a con job. Because you don't just because you get old, your bone structure is not going to get bigger. If anything, your shit going to get weaker. You do not add that much masculinity just because you got old. Actually, it goes in reverse. He ain't never been buff, ain't never been brolic, ain't never been mean, ain't never been grumpy, ain't never been. He ain't never showed no signs of none of this shit. He ain't never been no hater. He ain't never. None of that. He ain't never wild out and talk shit about another comedian. And why would he start now? That ain't Dave. He ain't never go at the LBG community. He just strictly picked on black people. This motherfucker. Wait, who, who, who and what the fuck, man? Who? Where did they pick this guy up? He ain't even got the same mouth. Ain't no way that is Dave Chappelle. They think they got us all bamboozled and fool. How in it? What did he eat? What was in his water? They gave him the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ooze. You go from, I don't know, fuck. He went from a, this to that. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me do this real quick. Before and after he owed Cat Williams a a big apology. Look at this shit. Look look look. This shit don't even add up. How in the hell he get kangaroo arms? 
is this supposed to be his pouch? They turned Dave Chappelle into a kangaroo. This nigga kicked the shit out you and boxed you to death with his baby on his stomach. He better off moving to Australia if he gonna be looking like that. Like they love being Austria. He hop out the back of the truck kicking shit and punching niggas. This man, whoever this dude fresh out of jail, don't went up there and convinced them people at Hollywood that he got the best Chappelle act. Like, why do you need him when you got me? I did you, I did a dime behind bars. Okay, I've been working on acting for a long time. That's his corrections officer right there. Like, Tony, you do the best Dave I've ever seen. We're taking you to the big leagues, buddy. Gonna get you out of this can and I'm gonna be your manager. Fuck your pal. He doesn't want the 50 mil. Well, you know, we can go and get that money. All you have to do is take this phony license and get you some new license plates. Let everybody in town know in Yellow Springs that you are indeed Dave Chappelle. They'll buy the shit. They'll buy it. They, they, they never even met a black guy before. So how could they tell you who the fuck you are, you know? We're going to move out to Yellow Springs. Make sure there's no other blacks. Because if there's other blacks, they're going to call your shit. No matter what we do, we got to make sure we keep the blacks out of town, Dave. They're, they know their own. and You, you got to, you know, keep the charade. So the real Chappelle, he's in Africa. Don't worry, he doesn't have the money to get back to the States. You shut him down. He has no phone, no internet. He's out in Zimbabwe. He's a Zulu now. I have to worry about the original Chappelle. All you gotta do is, you know, keep your head down and stay away from the darkies and keep him out of town. So all you gotta do is shut down the town. We can pull the charade. Like, sure, I'll do it. I could do it, Chappelle. He's a hardened criminal. Perpetrating a fraud, man. <sighs> Look at this. That ain't even the same brother. Man, I'm I'm in I'm worried about the real Chappelle. They got him looking like um Bokeem Woodbine. How in the fuck that happened? Damn, this motherfucker look like the black Pennywise. I would not leave him around my wife, my girl, the another with a smile like that. I wouldn't leave him around the cat. Ain't no way they trying to say all these brothers look alike. Who put this shit up there? What the hell they looking at? They think these niggas all look alike. That's their way of saying y'all all look alike. Cause they don't look shit like each other. Yeah, man. Dave messed up. And I don't think there's a way he's going to be able to get out of this, man. I feel bad for Dave. Because people done with him. He's canceled. The jokes, his jokes is corny. Uh, white people don't like him no more. So he's fucked. Mark Cuban, they, they, he looking everywhere, but over at Dave, he trying to see what's going on over there. Mark Cuban looking at him just to say, go fuck yourself. Dave ain't going to give him the justice. As soon as Dave look at Mark Cuban, he know what he going to say. How about you go fuck yourself, Dave? We heard what you said. Bowen Yang, we got your back. Hmm. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man, because I pretty much said all I had to say about it. And um, y'all need to show me some love. 
Ner, Nina Loca is in the building. She said they all look lighter too. What the F? Some other stuff going on. Obtivious Banks, QS, Batty Shop, Star, and everybody else in the building, man. Yo, I got love for Jamie Foxx. I got love for y'all too. And y'all need to let me know how y'all feel about this for real. But we can't get out of here just yet because it's some information that I've been dying to share with y'all. There's nobody heard from your boy, Cat Williams. He been in and out of town doing his tour. And people wondering when the next time he going to do an interview. And I'm here to let y'all know the next time y'all see Cat Williams, he going to be in the best shape of his life. Because he's been practicing and doing a whole lot of stuff out here, man. Y'all need to look at this right fast. Reg, pull that up. Oh, God. Make sure, make sure you get them ads and shit out of here. Y'all stay tuned. I need to see this. Get it together. Okay, look, 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 look. Okay, here we go. Okay, play it. On how athletic he is. During that, he played a little cat with slow mo. That's your boy. That's your boy, Cat. He going for the whole championship. His ass ran a mile in like 3.2 seconds. People ain't believe he could do it. And he proved that he is the truth. Dave Chappelle, he couldn't even jog down his driveway without passing out, man. Cat Williams will beat his ass if they ever got into it. Hold on. Get this together. Go he ahead. He brought up the white comics. <clears throat> Dave Chappelle, I would like to ask you, why are you always in business with drag queens and gay comics? Oh, my goodness. Most of the men around you that you have on the road opening up or whatever, some of them be... I know why Earthquake got a special. <laughs> I know why Paul Mooney was on your show. <laughs> Homie, I'm in these comedy streets. Oh I know goodness. what's happening. Why you ain't talk about that? I like to have men on the back door of your side around me. Why y'all don't never talk about that? See, that's why Corey Holcomb ain't no Hollywood superstar, because y'all like to hide who you are. Wait a minute, man. You mean to tell me oh that Dave Dave Chappelle is zesty? If that's the case, and which I, I, I highly hope that's not the case, man. That explained why that man ran up there and attacked him like that. They said it was a zesty man. And they broke both of his legs and both of his arms and sent him to the hospital, man. Was that like an ex flame or some shit? You know you don't fucked up when you got people willing to throw their lives away just to get at you for some shit that you said on the stage. This turtle need to go back in. <laughs> this turtle need to go back in his shell, man. Oh my Especially if he gonna be hurting people like that. We don't want to see Earthworm Jim no more. Look, his face is not even a no nobody like him. They sick of pretending and acting like they want to be his friend when they don't. 
Somebody tell that turtle to beat it, man. Slowly walk the other way. He get on stage with that slow ass comedy, doing all that slow ass shit, just smoking that slow ass cigarettes, cracking them slow ass jokes. We're sick of it. America would do a lot better without Dave Chappelle. Where is his black wife? That's what I want to know. Where his big booty queen? Motherfucker. He need a big booty. Where are your big booty chicks? That's the only way you're going for. And get us a big booty side chick and walk her fat ass into the premiere of your next movie. That's the only way you're going to get back in good graces, man. He show up to the party with Elon Musk and doing all this corny stuff, man. We done with him. Y'all let me know. Do y'all still got love for Dave Chappelle? Because I don't know no more. Hold on. Look at this shit. How in the hell? The original Dave ain't never smoked no damn cigarettes. That's some jailhouse shit. Prisoner 26224987 is perpetrating a fraud. All of a sudden, Dave Chappelle is a chain smoker with a badass vibe about when did he become a badass? What what did he go through? Was he a street fighter underground for six months or something? Did he have an MMA gig going when his comedy career fell apart? He was an underground MMA fighter. He trained, he punched bricks and beat ass for six years and came back to comedy. What the hell was he doing when he took his hiatus? He was gang banging on Crenshaw. I put in time with the rolling 60s and decided to get back into the comedy game. It was rough out there on them Compton streets. Every other day, I had to crack another motherfucker's head, man. No punk, I ain't no pushover. Lived on Skid Row for a couple of months. I got my weight up, started hanging with the Cholos. Like I remember Dave Chappelle sold me those things. You know what things I'm talking about? He sold them to me. I got them. Gonna hit up the gym, you know, go see my bus down. Be out there on a rainy day with a tank top on. Dave Chappelle would never do no shit like this. This is not this guy would not do no shit. Tank top. This is straight jailhouse. Out in public with the gray tank top on? Nigga, is you about to go roll dice? You looking for Dave Chappelle? You could find him on the pull up bars. And what world, man? He looking like he fresh out. He got his book bag. He about to go to the um the halfway house. Get him an orange juice and a donut and talk to his probation officer. Like, I got a gig, man. The world, they they going to believe it. They, you know, they, they signed me up. I'm going to be Dave Chappelle. So I got, all I got to do is keep the gig alive. They're going to respect me. Who's going to tell me I'm not Dave? I know I ain't no fucking Dave Chappelle, but if it pays the bills, I'll be whoever they want me to be. Operation Op. They put him on the some federal shit. The real Dave Chappelle, they had to erase his ass from the history books. He don't he 
he don't broke the rules, man. No, tell it like it is. They, the real Dave Chappelle broke all of the rules. He was so innocent and so, so comedy and funny and all. He ain't none of that shit no more. How you take a dude like this and turn him into a hardened criminal? Did they put him in the war? Did Dave Chappelle serve in Iraq? Why in the, how? This, this sweet guy, comedic genius, just a funny, fun loving. The, the America fell in love with Dave Chappelle. His personality, his demeanor, his drive, a skinny guy that love apples, man and didn't dare touch a cigarette ever. And how he go from that to this, man. Oh my goodness. This man looked like he robbed liquor stores before. A straight OG from Oakland. He got grief, resentment, Pain, struggle, all that shit on his face. He looked like he's seen years of prison bars. I never seen a man cry till I seen a man die. He might be from Houston. Come on, man. The excitement in his eyes. Do not match the gloom in this man's eyes. The, that's somebody grandfather. Look at this nigga. He's not even related to Dave Chappelle. He might be from Alabama for real. Like I was born by the river. He grew up, he was a truck driver before they discover him as the new Dave Chappelle. Take a load to Ohio all the way to California back down to Mississippi. And when I get there, I get a hotel and a six pack of beer. That was my life before Dave Chappelle. The way he was bringing the drama to Cat Williams, he was acting like he was beefing with a nigga in jail. Hey, man, I don't, I don't know what to think about all of this. And I know y'all confused about it as well, but he need to kiss Cat Williams ass so people to stop with these allegations and speculations. Because if this keep going on, somebody going to get exposed. Who teeth? Why they gave him the Bugs Bunny teeths? They rounded his shits off in the front. What? He had square teeth. Now he got the little round ones, man. Get this shit out of here. God. They rounded out. That might be Tiger Woods or some shit. Like Tiger. Your leg gave out a long time ago, but you sure are funny. He got a different mouth. His whole shit. Nigga. Got a different mouth. Wait a minute. I just seen something real strange and y'all need to experience this with me, man. I just noticed something real f Fucked up. Get it together. Oh God. Google. This is crazy. But yeah, pull her up. Pull her up. Y'all need to see this, man, because this just blew my motherfucking mind. Why do Dave Chappelle and Azalea Banks look like they could be related? She looked like the original Dave Chappelle. 
Where the wig on, man? If they put her on the Chappelle show and they shaved her head down, she would look just like Dave. And come to find out they have relations. Is that his cousin or some shit? They got the same smile. They got the same cheekbones and everything. Yuck. Man, something ain't right about this. Cause she look like him and he look like her and they messed around and have relations. I'm kind of hoping that they not related, man. Cause if they is, that's some weird shit going on in Hollywood. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to wrap this thing up. And she not bad looking right here. They photoshopped the shit out of her picture. She actually looked good in that picture. No doubt. Shit, I will use this as a wallpaper or something. She looked damn good to me. Um, Yeah, run that back. She looked... I want this picture. Yeah, she looked like a model right there. But I know we ain't here to talk about her, but... And then I said she looked like Dave Chappelle, so all of this shit is zesty, so excuse me. I apologize or whatever. Okay, let's get back to this news. <clears throat> I want to finish playing this out because he wasn't done saying a lot of stuff he had to say. Okay, look, 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 look. Okay, yes, that may bring down my property value, but ultimately it's for the better good of a bunch of people. Right. But the reality is a lot of people do feel that's the issue. If the question is why do people have an issue with affordable housing, sometimes it affects other people's property and it makes it brings down the value. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that may bring down my property. Okay, they sticking up for Dave Chappelle as far as this um this situation go home. Dave Chappelle was accused of opposing affordable housing for low-income people in Ohio, but this is how the media lied about that. To explain where the story started, Chappelle is from the town of Yellow Springs, Ohio. And he owns this house seen here. Oh, whatever, man. You gotta be careful with these little shorts. So I'm not even gonna um Dave Chappelle was oh accused God, of opposing the affordable here. Stop it. Yo, get it together, man. Oh shit, hold on, y'all need to listen at this, man. Wait a minute, go ahead and play that. Oh, second. I'm getting it together, I promise. Okay, here we go, play that. Is, uh, once again, driving people mad. He's uh, getting slammed for threatening to yank his business venture from his hometown in Yellow Springs, Ohio, if they approve an affordable housing plan. Take a listen. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, I'm Dave Spell. <laughs> I just want to say, and Marianne, I can talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the village council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they takes out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, that was not part of his uh, stand-up act right there. Yeah, the council didn't take Dave's threat lightly, and he voted against the affordable housing portion of the plan. Instead, they agreed to build 143 single-family homes with a starting price of $300,000. Yeah, Sharon, you, you just take this one. You know, and I don't know, because Dave Chappelle's not, other than showing up, and that's what I like about him, he did show up. He didn't send a representative. He mm -hmm. went himself. He mm -hmm. told you what he was going to do. He unbuttoned his jacket and said, don't play with me. I'll take it all back. He has, like, mm -hmm. his comedy club and a firehouse restaurant planned and all this stuff there that's, you know, yeah. considerable tens of millions of dollars of investment. And he said, don't do this. Um, there's only speculation in the articles that I've read that, you know, this affordable housing was coming too close to his sprawling farm. Remember when he quit comedy for, I don't know, a couple of years or something. And he retreated to his farm. Dave gonna be all right. 
it's enough bougie Negroes to continue to propel his career to the stars. You got enough black people that think just like Dave Chappelle and they ain't even got half of his money. We want to price our own damn selves out. All of the black businesses. That shit sky high. They trying to price out their own damn people so you won't give them no damn business. They want to make it so unaffordable to where your black ass can't even eat at their restaurant. They'll be glad as hell to have some non-black clientele up in their shit. That's just the way it go. They don't see that Dave Chappelle did anything wrong. She gonna champion this man even though he don't want her to be his neighbor. What part of the game is that? Then he got the nerve to go at Cat Williams for calling him out on a bullshit. He don't want to be called out. He don't want to be held accountable. He just want to be Dave Chappelle and give the black community the finger while he making millions and billions of dollars. That is cold blooded, man. That's his sanctuary. That's where his family is. And he said, don't you better get out of here. My hometown. Don't play with yeah. me. And it's just so strange to see him. Mm. He is a complicated man, which makes him so ridiculously funny. And he's always giving us mm -hmm. not just laughs, but something to think about. So there's a lot to this intelligent man. And when he first yeah. stood up and said, I'm Dave Chappelle, you heard the little <clears throat> laughter there. They were, they were laughing. The laughter. They thought that mm -hmm. this would be good. And it quickly stopped mm -hmm. when he... He turned into another character, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of which mm -hmm. one that would be from that skit show he did. That was she ain't got no flavor. She look ridiculous. Damn, that wig. She need to cut that shit out. <clears throat> Just because you can look like you got substance don't mean that you got substance, man. They trying to bougie, the bouge ghetto. And this shit is sickening. This is a costume. And he got on a costume too. They trying to appeal to the conservatives and all that bullshit. The upper class like they need to cut this. Sh That's why they always end up with nothing at the end of the day. Cause they ain't true to shit. They want to live the American dream and munch on the apple pie. And when they finally do get a slice, they act like they better than every fucking body. And it's sickening to the stomach. And unfortunately, Dave Chappelle is looking like he just so happened to be one of them people. He been eating that good American pie for a long ass time. He done lost touch with all reality. He just on his, you know, his bullshit. And you got black folks that will parade him around while he tell them to kiss his ass. Look at this, man. What's so successful, Dave Chappelle show? Uh, but you know, hey, he's got he's got a right to say what he feels. I think people see the the headline affordable housing, Mike. They say, why would Dave Chappelle be against that? Mm. But you got to do a deeper dive. And right now, he's not he's not giving us more. It, it, yeah, and, and this Dave Chappelle, so obviously, it's going to get a lot of um, notoriety. It's going to get some um, national recognition. We would have never done this story, just to be honest with you, if it wasn't Dave Chappelle living in that community. He's been active in that community as long as I've been knowing for a long period of time. He's been living there and people was wondering why you live on a farm, but he's lived there. He's always active in that community, obviously invested in that community. Dave Chappelle is a genius, very smart. And at the end of the day, Dave Chappelle, I can't look at Dave Chappelle, the comedian, um, the entertainer, uh, the A-list celebrity. Uh, I guess I have to look at Dave Chappelle as the resident of his home. And this is one of those stories where I need to resolve. Man, bullshit, man. Bull. Bull. I call baloney. 
the information. You no, know, cause that shit. These documentations is hot. And I call bull and baloney on this whole Dave Chappelle living in Yellow Springs, Ohio, man. If he lived in California, he would be proven to be a fraud within less than a week. If he lived in New York, they would have called out his varsity a long ass time ago. If he was in any major city with black people, they would have quickly connected the dots like that is not Dave Chappelle. Like that's my cousin James. I was afraid to say anything. I saw him at the Whole Foods and he tried to act like he ain't know me. But that's my cousin James. He masquerading around as Dave Chappelle, got everybody fooled. He gotta stay in the middle of nowhere where people can't even really recognize his ass. All they know is he the dude that they seen on TV. Man. Hollywood don't pull the trick. And why in the hell would they give him back the money that they didn't want to give to the other dude? Hold on. <clears throat> so eventually they wound up giving Dave Chappelle his money. That's, that's what I want to see before I even get out of here, man. He, he left the money. He left the life and years later, he wound up getting it back. Hold on, y'all. Try, try to help me make this make sense. <clears throat> Here's how Dave amassed his reported $60 million net worth. Uh, the world of stand up comedy is making um, money and all that shit. Uh, while most people think of comedians like Jerry Seinfeld, Jay Leno, high profile, Comedian Chappelle has a long career and has uh, become a well-respected and highly earned. How did he make the money? Um, Chappelle is known for his comedy and controversial comments, uh, both which made him a multimillionaire. Such uh, fans who attend his current comedy tour should expect nothing less from blah, 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 blah. Okay, this, now we're talking about the money. His Netflix contract. $82 million. Why not put his ass back on the Chappelle show? If Netflix was, I ain't going to say they're not smart, but if this was really Dave Chappelle, they would have picked up on the on the damn Chappelle show, man. Anybody could write a comedy set and rehearse that shit and be Dave Chappelle. But when you're doing improv, you can't fake that because that's off the dome. You can have anybody rehearse some damn jokes. And you could write them things to sound something similar to what Dave Chappelle was said, something he would say, man. And the reason why I'm so pumped up about this is because he was way more brilliant before he disappeared. Eighty two million dollars for. How much of the money is going to his pocket? Man, this don't even make no sense. Following his first appearance on Netflix in 2017 with the age of spin live at the Hollywood Palladium, Chappelle included five Netflix original standup specials for the streaming service, which brought Chappelle a payday of 82 million. And it was all bad as an incredibly well-known comedian. These specials receive a lot of views and have allowed Chappelle to 
really carve out a niche for himself. They pay him the most money for the worst stand up comedy of his life. But they didn't want to pay him for the best series that was ever created. And I know it sounds like I'm hating on Dave Chappelle, but somebody help me do the math, man. Dave Chappelle enjoys success of syndication of the Chappelle show. So now that the show is syndicated, he getting a check off of the Chappelle show too. But what an honor. Why is he so privileged or why are they what? I thought they was at war with Chappelle. And he was doing stand up in comedy clubs and nobody even cared. For the longest and all of a sudden they opened up the gates. For a new Chappelle. Is this dude even making money? He might be a straight up clone or some government shit. They probably don't have to give him a dime of the 82 mil. And if he a brother perpetrating a fraud, they probably break him off with some money and let him run that town. Dave Chappelle's cult following for an earlier comedy film. So he making money from half baked. His appearance on Saturday Night Live got him a big payday. His Netflix deal contract, 20 million per show per do- Man, this is some bull. Hey, I'm about to get out of here. But before I do, I got to say this is some bullshit. $20 million per show. Is that $20 million worth of comedy that you heard on that special? Where is the M's in that comedy? Where was the hard hitting jokes that that's worth twenty million dollars? Where was the punchline that knocked everybody on their ass? He ain't never did no fifty million views nowhere. Shit, pay Cat Williams a hundred million dollars an interview. But they won't do nothing like that, man. Money from reselling cars. This is how he get his money. Chappelle received the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. And that ain't even if that's Dave Chappelle. I don't know what the hell going on. Dave Chappelle multi uh, television appearances. Chappelle's endorsement deals. Chappelle does not only do it sound like they working the shit out this man. The original Chappelle was talking about how he ain't have no control over his life. And he couldn't even go to the bathroom without them people waiting by the door. He was on Oprah spilling all of the beans, how they was he was under mind fucking control. And he couldn't even handle the Chappelle show. And you mean to tell me he can handle all of this stuff on his own? Dave Chappelle has released. Con- what type of handlers? I'm starting to believe this cloning shit is real. Allegedly, man, uh, Dave Chappelle has made documentary appearances and. And why they showing a bunch of pictures of the old Chappelle? They mixing this shit up. They got the ears all wrong. He got big fat ears. Why in the hell he gained weight in his ears? He had skinny ears. Now he got fat ears. Shit don't even make sense, man.
This nigga a gargoyle. That is not unless he was a baby gargoyle that grew into a fucking willy mammoth. They gonna put him on the top of a hospital. That's where they gonna they gonna build his statues all around old hospitals. In the future, when they tell stories about Dave Chappelle. He gonna, it's going to be a horror movie. His ass going to be a gargoyle. But that's Negro here over there. Look, I got love for Dave Chappelle. And if he ever want to do business with me, I'm just going to have to erase this video. and We could be good, man. Yo, Dave, I'm out here doing bad, bro. You got all that money. You see, I'm trying to be funny. I could do the comedy thing, too, man. Write me a check. And I promise I would never try to move in your neighborhood. Well, depending on how big that check is. But that's Negro here over there. We love Dave. But he tripping and he should have never went at Cat Williams. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about it before I get out of here, man. Is y'all mad at Dave Chappelle? I am. That's why I said all that mean stuff about him. But I still love him, man. Sean pimping in the building. What'd it do? QS. As long as you hear, here, baby, I'm going to be here. Hammer of Jesus is in the building. Louis Vuitton. Owen is here. Owen O. And Nina. What's up, baby? Represent for my buddy quads out there. Uncle Diggity is kicking it too, man. Chopper. I'm Tivius Banks. Rick M. G. Collins. Did I mention the homie Sean Pimpin? Nisi Brown. Positive Queen on purpose. She ain't faking it. She going to stay positive. She doing it on purpose. You think she being phony? She just trying to be real with you, man. Social media Kang. Did anybody see 12 in here anywhere? Did 12 show up tonight? I don't know, man. But anyway, let me just go ahead and wrap this up real quick. I want to say this before I go. They saying that Dave Chappelle is begging Cat Williams to forgive him because he knows if Cat Williams forgive him, it'd be a lot of black people that'll hop back on the Dave Chappelle bandwagon. And he felt like we wasn't necessary because he thought that he had other communities to embrace him. But just recently, he went on Saturday Night Live. They showed him he wasn't welcome. And he is not the life of the party no more. You are not special. They don't remember him. They're uncomfortable. Who the fuck is this man? He's supposed to be Dave Chappelle, but he's not. He's a tyrant. He's buff. He's rude. He's he all of the shit that Dave Chappelle never was. And they starting to pick up on it. They're like, well, there's clones amongst us. Some weird shit going on in Hollywood. Allegedly, man. But shout out to Dave Chappelle and everybody watching the video. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button. And for you ladies out there, I love y'all to death. Everything I said in this video was allegations and speculations. And if it made you happy, if you enjoyed it, if you found this entertaining, I did it for you, baby. I risk my motherfucking life. I, 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 I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you Girl, I risk my life to give you documentations. Girl, I risk my life to give you documentations. Girl, I Sean got the jocks. I'm keeping it funky like some socks. Ponytail with.